It was a UN war, although primarily American and Korean soldiery fought it. But it was still a war that we went to as a part of the United Nations to ensure that a free people could not be subjugated by armed aggression against their will. That's unique in American history. When the communist North Koreans invaded and the United Nations declared that they were going to send troops there, Truman ordered the 24th Division and the 25th Division to immediately go to Korea. Young kids from all over the country at 18 years old on our way to Korea. And it was there that we found out where Korea was, what a war was. What we didn't find out was what the hell were we doing going to Korea? When we were there, it was devastated. Everything was torn up. The North had come through there and they tore down everything in front of them. When we landed there was we landed in about a foot of snow and uh, it was colder than blue blazes. The bulk of fighting on the Korean Peninsula occurred in an area where the peninsula was approximately 160 miles wide. You had between a half a million and three quarters of a million uh, Chinese and North Koreans uh, opposing about half a million UN forces, uh, which of course included the, the, the Korean Army and the uh, eight divisions of the United States Army. Those guns are coming. Boom, boom. I was so frightened. It was so cold. And, uh, and I will tell you, that, that stays with me to this day. We got hit hard. We had some, my outfit had 90% casualties. Uh, I was shot. Uh, other people didn't come back. Tens of thousands of deaths and those that are wounded. And yet, they refer to it as the forgotten war. It was on a front page war. And it wasn't a home TV war. It slipped through the cracks of uh, American awareness of what its soldiery was doing. And it has remained so, sadly enough, ever since then. I came back home, and unlike the Vietnam veterans, I was not met with scorn and hatred and compared to a traitor, which was disgraceful conduct. But no one knew where the hell we were or what we were doing. Well, it wasn't handled very well public relations-wise. Uh, I don't know that we became beneficiaries or recipients of good favor that we experienced after the Second World War. I see it as historical. I don't think there was any fanfare, but it could have been a world war. Uh, we don't know where it could have gone, thank goodness it didn't. The United States uh, took the lead in that war on the ground and in the air and at sea. I just think that uh, if it hadn't been for the United States that whole peninsula would have been communist today. We are extremely grateful because without their sacrifice our survival was not taken for granted. So we uh, consider their sacrifice the foundation of today's Korea. America, the country of free willed people making a determination that aggression will not stand and then doing what it had to do at a very high cost and democracy is we all know is not free but i feel very strongly that we did the right thing uh, if i had to do it over again i would the korean war was a major event uh, it's a benchmark of the 20th century and, and americans per se really have no idea what was achieved in Korea. The fact that America chose to shed its soldiery's blood in Korea to save the Korean people from being subjugated by communism is one of the proudest moments in our history.